So here I have a uh, hybrid vehicle. It is a 2007 Camry. And uh, basically what's, what's going on is the battery isn't wanting to charge very well. It's on the verge of uh, kind of almost failing. And oftentimes instead of replacing the whole battery, what you can do is uh, you can take the battery out and in between the cells they have bus bars and what happens is you can see they get corroded and they get dirty and that adds a lot of resistance and uh, it has a hard time charging and it gets a lot of errors and it kind of kind of ends up ruining the cells over time so instead of uh, spending four thousand dollars or whatever on a battery and to have it put in and all that uh, you can actually go through here and you can clean these and that'll let the uh, power flow freely again and that'll solve a lot of issues. Now, if the cells are actually bad, this won't solve your problem. You're gonna need some new cells and uh, you can test those uh, individually once you're in here. But for a lot of times, uh, cleaning these bars is all it really takes. Um, this is something you absolutely 100% should not do if you don't know what you're doing. This is not a DIY do it yourself at home uh, kind of deal. I'm an actual mechanic and I deal with this stuff all the time. These, this, this amount of power right here is extremely dangerous and it will kill you if you uh, touch the wrong part at the wrong time. You will die, like, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding around. This is something do not do at home. You can, you can pay to have this service done um, and this can save you a lot of money instead of buying a battery. But this is something I'm just doing because, you know, it needs it and I'm actually qualified to do it. So. Again, this is extremely dangerous. The uh, amount of power, the voltage and the amperage coming out of all these cells linked together is extremely high and it will kill you just just instantly like that. So do not do this at home if you're not qualified to do it. Uh, but this is a, uh, a cheap, easy way to take care of those uh, batteries that are you know, giving you those replace the battery codes. Um, while I'm in here, I may test some of these cells. Uh, the uh, some of these uh, batteries, they actually had an issue where they they didn't have, it wasn't set up like this, it was actually like a row of uh, tubes and uh, it almost looked like a Gatling gun if you looked straight at it. And they didn't have a fan going on it. This one actually has a fan that blows across these batteries. And what would happen is when those batteries would charge and heat up, it'd be the ones on the inside in the middle that would overheat and that would fry out and that would fail the soonest. But uh, they've revised that uh, design, and now they've uh, put a fan in there, and now these things last a little bit longer. This is an 07, so it's at the 10-year mark. So these cells just might be going bad on their own, but it's definitely worth a shot doing this before you know you go ahead and actually replace individual cells, or replace the whole pack. But there's that. It's uh, rebuilding a Civic Hybrid battery.